what we're going to be going over here is inventory liquidity here and there's two items that we measure our liquidity of our inventory and that's first our inventory turnover ratio that measures the number of times on average a company sells inventory during the period and then also the average days to sell the inventory that represents the average number of days which the company has inventory on hand and what we'll start with here is this inventory turnover ratio here now that is defined here as the cost of goods sold divided by the average inventory and we're just going to be looking at a very basic example here where we have some financial statements here for a company and we're going to be looking at two years here 20x3 and 20x2 to determine our inventory turnover ratio here and also our average days of selling the inventory so what you when you approach these problems here you have to determine uh, you're going to have to have some financial statements here for the company and uh, for the first thing you have to do here in these financial statements you have to determine what the cost of goods sold amount would be and that's what you're going to have to take out of your financial statements here and then the next thing you have to know is you have to know your inventories uh, for the period that you're looking at here so we're going to start here with our uh, 20x3 here this this year 20x3 and determine our uh, uh, turnover ratio, inventory turnover ratio, and also our average days of selling our inventory. So looking at our financial statements, let's say here uh, for 20x3, uh, our cost of goods sold here was, in, and this is in millions of dollars. You can see what it is here, $15,910,000. So uh, for our inventory turnover ratio here, we would start, that would be our cost of goods sold. You put that here in your numerator here, and then in your denominator, this is where you take your average inventory and how do you where do you get your average inventory well you have to take that would be your beginning inventory here and we're being looking here at mid-year here uh, we're comparing it here at mid-year here so that would be the end of May here so 530 x2 that would be our mid-year and that would be the beginning inventory that we'd be looking at for this uh, period here so that was 21 uh, two million one hundred and ten thousand dollars here and then that would be our beginning inventory amount here and then our ending inventory would be well 12 months out into the future here since this turnover ratio that we're looking at here is based on a year here so um, we're looking here at 530 the end of May here of X3 here and we come up with our inventory here two million three hundred forty eight thousand dollars so to determine our inventory turnover ratio all we did is to we had our cost of goods sold up here and then we compute here our, and divide that here by the average inventory that we had for that period or for this yearly period so we had that was a 23 two million three hundred forty eight thousand here for the, the ending inventory here at the end of May here 530 X3 plus 21 Two million one hundred ten thousand. That was the beginning inventory here on five thirty x two. Sum those amounts, divide them by two here to compute your average. Then you divide your average inventory and your cost of goods sold, and you're going to come up with here seven point one four times and that equals the turnover ratio here now the next thing we have to do is we have to determine our average days to sell this inventory and as again it's based on a year here where we have 365 days in a year so that's yearly uh, based on a year here in our example and then you would divide it here by this in a turnover ratio in this case it was 7.14 times here divide that into 365 days and you're going to get 51.1 days here that's the average days to sell inventory so both of these uh, uh, ratios here are uh, very important here when you're determining your inventories here and your liquidities of your inventories obviously you want to turn them over as many times as you can and you want to keep uh, the minimum days here so the more you turn them over here the less days you're going to get here so you want to minimize the number of days here that you're holding this inventory because everything costs money here and you want to uh, have as many turnovers as you can here on your inventory now let's go over here and just look at how we well okay first off we calculated it here for year 20 x3 um, this turnover ratio here so let's now we'll look at year 20 x2 so let's go over and look at it here so 20 x2 again the same um, item here we again you look for your cost of goods sold you take that for the year 20 x2 here and for your inventory ratio of Ratio, uh, ratio here to calculate that to take a, your cost of goods sold here for 20x2 and then again you divide it by your average 
inventory for the period. And all I wanted to do is point out here uh, where we determine our average inventory. Instead of uh, what we did here for 20x3 here, we had used the beginning amount here uh, was for 20x2 and our ending amount here was for uh, x3 here, May x3 here. And what we would do in this case for 20x2, again we back to the beginning amount here and that would be uh, 530x1 here and that would be the beginning inventory here at 2,074,000 and then our ending inventory here would be 530x2 uh, the next uh, that would be for the year we're looking at our ending inventory $2,110,000 so adding those amounts together here dividing them by two for your average and dividing that into your cost of goods sold here you're going to come up with 7.21 times that would be your turnover ratio here again this is based on a year and then for our average days of the selling inventory, you gen, it's based on a year here, 365 days. Divide that here by your turnover ratio here, 7.21, and you're going to come up with 50.6 days here for your your average invent days to sell your inventory. So this is just an overview here of how you would calculate your inventory turnover ratio here and your average days to sell inventory. And just remember here when you're doing them uh, for the year here, uh, well first off when you're approaching these problems you have to determine what your cost of goods sold is and you look at it for the particular year that you're looking at here and then you have to determine what your average inventory is. So you have to determine what your beginning inventory is and uh, you, and then you have to know what your ending inventory is. You average those, add them together, divide by two to average them, and you're going to get your uh, uh, number of inventory turns that you have based on a yearly basis here. And then from that you can determine your average days to sell your inventory simply. In this case we're looking at a year here. You take your total days in a year, divide it by your inventory turnover ratio, and then you're going to come up with your average days to sell your inventory. All right.